Hello there. Hope you're doing well. We're heading to round three of the CSBS, heading to Siena, one of the brand new circuits in the game. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can turn our season around. Last race, not that great, P7. Ian Becker once again getting the victory. It's not it's not a great season so far for Bearder Racing, but it, we still have time to turn it around. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. Mind you, during the time of this recording, all of these races, I'm brand new to this car and these new tracks. I, I basically was like, you know what? No practice. Let's uh, let's just jump into it, and it'll make for some fun videos. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, this turns out all right. Uh, I'm really, really fresh to this course and this car in this uh, in this next one. So let's get into qualifying. See if we can turn this around. All right, race three of six at Siena. Another one of the brand new tracks released. 16 laps, and guess what? We got pole. That's right, we're out front. Felt really good on that qualifying lap. And Ian Beckert, do you see that? All the way at the back. They must have got a course cutting penalty or something. So we just have to make sure. Are you serious? Belksum? I'll throw the elbows. Dive bomb me like that. We just gotta make sure we stay ahead of this traffic. Oh man, this is so hard to do sometimes when you're talking. It's, I mean, the, the brain power to, to a top-down racer and talk at the same time uh, sometimes it is above my prowess. But here we go. Solid first lap. We got away from the field, and now we just got to minimize our mistakes to stay out of that dang traffic. Hopefully we don't have any downfalls as well. Oh, Belkasim has some speed today. They're not going to be hard to, they're not going to be easy to leave behind. I thought they just got a quarter cutting penalty, but it didn't look like they got ghosted. Oh no. Get away. Get away. No. Get off my, get off my tire. Oh, you, you can't, you can't turn when they're on your, your back rear like that. That's, we're lucky we didn't have more damage down the 95. It's not over. We can come back. We can get that back. We got the speed. We destroyed them in qualifying. It's not like we're back in the middle middle of the field dealing with that traffic. All right. Let's get a nice run. Just got to their inside. Got them loose a little bit. Dive in beneath. And there we go. Oh, they turned us they turned us oh my goodness a little bit of a dive those dives are not working I can't make them stick oh man we are falling back now one thing I just realized I had I had to I had an inch so I had to pause uh, I just realized they added in the leaderboard on the pause menu so you can kind of see where everyone is that's pretty cool so right now we can see Ian Beckert already made his way back from, what, what was he, P9, P10, all the way to 6th. So he is the points leader. We need to finish as far ahead of him as possible. Hopefully the traffic can still hold him back. Hang in there, Bruzy. Oh man, I'm struggling. I was so confident when we got pole that this was going to be a good run. And we threw it away. No, that's not... Oh, those corner cutting penalties. They feel worse than they used to be. Okay. And that's Ian Becker. This is uh, pretty much a championship race here. Oh my. Oh, uh, it's so defeating. I don't have, I don't have it. I just don't have the speed. We gave up that lead and now uh, we're just dropping like a rock.
You know what? Next time by, we are going in the pits because those tires are giving me trouble. They're down the 12. Yeah, we are, we're pitting. I don't understand how they are staying out, honestly. And maybe we will be able to get a fast enough run with the open track and fresh tires that we can make up some spots. Get that full fuel, full tires, all fixed up. Got a fast car once again. Let's lay down some hot laps. See how it goes. I might quiet up just a little bit here. hear him in the pits please give me all the spots did we really just enter p11 oh we're behind Beckert so no oh my goodness <laughs> got shoved into quarter cutting again this season had a lot more of an optimistic outlook than I anticipated going in. It has not been well so far. We have speed. Unfortunately, once we get traffic around us, we can't handle ourselves. Now I'm thinking back to that first race when I was trying to be nice and I pitted. You, I just got to stop falling for that. I think that I can get under them there and it just forces me into the corner cutting. I got to stop it. But I'm thinking back to that first race where I was like, you know what? The AI can't handle themselves. I'm just going to, no, I'm not doing it again. They're pitting again. I'm not doing it this time. They're too good. They force you off the road. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I am finishing this race without pitting twice. And hopefully I win now that I've made this statement. <laughs> if, if they end up, you know, beating me anyway, that would be sad. Who is this? Who is this? Zalewski, what are you doing? Why are you so fast? Did you pit again? No, no. Hopefully they pit. They are fast. They must have they must have undercut or something cuz they are quick. All right, we're sitting P3 with a podium. Two laps to go. Let's hold on to it. Hopefully Becker got caught up on bat, bad pit strategy or something. Maybe some of them pitted and some of them just were smart enough not to. Maybe that's what we're seeing here. I'll be really sad if these guys pit. No, okay. They're staying out. I was about to say, with one lap to go with the lead, if they pit, that's that's going to be pretty bad luck here. All right, so we have a mix-up this race. That's Sao June behind us. I have no clue where Beckert is. Oh, we're losing these tires here. Oh, we have zero tires. That's why. I'm like, I am all over the place. What's happening? No wonder. Oh, no. I have no tires. I don't think I can hold on to this podium. No! 
Oh, we get, we both got that penalty. We lost the podium. Dang it, right at the end. Sao Jun has been a pain in my side. Where did where did Becker finish? <gasps> P10. Oh, if we could have just held on to that second place earlier, that would have been a championship saver. But this is really good for the points here. All right. Caleb takes over the points lead. Oh my goodness, this has turned into a, a nice battle up front. Caleb 48, Beckert 44, Belkison 39, and we're right there as well. This season is not over. Well, you heard it on the cooldown lap right there. We are still in it. We're fourth in the points with 38. Yeah, this season is not over. And in fact, this might be one of the closest upfront battles in terms of the amount of drivers that we've seen, at least in a while that I can remember. I don't know what happened to Beckert's qualifying run. He did not qualify well. And then it seemed like maybe some of the AI decided to stay out and do a one-stopper while some of them did a two-stop. So uh, that paid off for a lot of the drivers. I think Caleb was one of them. I mean, I could totally be wrong. Maybe maybe they pitted twice and I just didn't see. But to my knowledge, they only pitted once and it paid off. Beckert falling to 10th. That really hurt their points pull. So uh, I forget who got the fastest lap, actually. Oh, it was us. All right, so we got a point for the fa fastest lap and pull. That, that's, uh, that's big. Getting those little extra points in the standings can go a long way at the end of the season. And uh, we look forward on from here. Where are we heading next? Copperwood. We are familiar with that course. So uh, hopefully we can maybe get our first win of the season there. That would be nice. I really don't want to go winless. <laughs> Uh, it's a course we know fairly well, so I'm excited to go there. But in any case, hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you, if you did enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you next episode. Till then, peace out.